Hello, hello, dear viewers. Welcome to our channel. It's very good to have you here. In this video, we are going to have a look at clutch associated problems. And what is causing clutch trouble? What are the different types of clutch troubles and how to fix them is the main focus of this video. So in order to get to know the clutch system, let's have a recap on the component parts and the principle of operation. Here, the black part is the flywheel. This is directly connected to the crankshaft. So it's always spinning with the crankshaft. And we have this rate, it is a clutch cover. The rate is the one that houses the entire clutch unit. And on the clutch cover, we have springs that are forcing this pressure plate. This part is the pressure plate. So the pressure plate is forced to the flywheel side by coil springs. There are coil springs placed onto the pressure plate. They are forcing this pressure plate onto the flywheel. Well, some clutch types, they are using diaphragm type spring, but for this particular clutch assembly, we are using coil spring type. Now, sandwiched between the pressure plate and the flywheel, we find the friction disc. Here we have the friction disc. When the friction disc is pressed hard onto the flywheel by this pressure plate, power will be transmitted from the flywheel to the friction disc due to that friction between the flywheel, friction disc, and pressure plate. So it will be sandwiched like this. It will be held sandwiched like this. They move as a unit. Now, when the clutch pedal is depressed, however, this release bearing will move to this side. Motion of this will activate these release levers. This release lever, when it is pressed this way on this side, it will move out on the other side. Moving out, it will lift this pressure plate away from the friction disc. That way, power flow from the engine to the transmission will be interrupted temporarily so that gears can be selected easily. Now, when the clutch pedal is released again, the whole assembly will be pressed by the coil spring. Pressure plate will force the friction disc onto the flywheel. Now this is the basic principle of operation of a clutch. Now, whenever there are problems associated with these components, whenever there is wear and tear and whenever there is malfunction on the system, there are some symptoms that can be shown. For example, the number one problem of clutch, clutch fail to release. What does it mean? You press the pedal to the floor and then, when you activate the shift lever to select gears, it will no more select gear. What does that mean? The clutch was supposed to temporarily interrupt power flow from the engine to the transmission. But when that is no more taking place, we say clutch failed to release. So what can cause this problem? Well, if the clutch system is operated hydraulically, if the pedal force is transmitted to this release bearing hydraulically, if there is leak in the clutch hydraulic system, that can cause the clutch to fail to release. If it is a mechanical linkage type, if there is a problem on the linkage adjustment from the pedal to the fork, that can also cause fail to release problem. Clutch plate warped or damaged. If this clutch plate is not correctly to the specification, if this is totally worn out, that can also re lead to fail to release problem. So, problem on the linkage and worn out friction disc can cause the clutch not to release. And the other problem associated with the clutch is clutch slippage. Now, when the engine is running like so, Clutch will be continuously moving with the pressure plate and with the flywheel, transmitting power from the flywheel to the transmission gearbox. Now there are cases when the, the clutch assembly fails to do that. It will rather slip. Clutch slips. Engine speed increases with no increment of speed on the transmission. So when will that happen? When the force that is clamping this friction disc onto the flywheel is somehow loose, 
when there is no strong friction between the friction disc, the pressure plate, and the flywheel, clutch will start to slip. What can cause this? If there is a linkage problem, if linkage is out of adjustment, if linkage is out of adjustment and the release bearing is somehow forced to this direction, it will have a slight pressure on the lever. So removing the pressure plate force that is clamping the friction disc onto the flywheel, that will cause clutch slippage. So you accelerate the engine, but the transmission will remain still at low speed because the clutch is slipping between the pressure plate and the flywheel and no more transmitting power effectively. So that is called clutch slippage. So number one, linkage problem. If there is a problem on the linkage. The other problem is if this friction surface on the friction disc is somehow soaked in oil, that can also be a problem. If there is oil film on this surface, coefficient of friction will drop and that will cause clutch slippage and it will eventually lead to this lining to burn out. Excessive slippage will lead to burning out of the friction disc. And the other problem associated with the clutch that can lead to clutch slippage is if there is excessive wear on the lining material. This lining material is usually made up of asbestos because it has very nice coefficient of friction when it is working with steel. So if that lining material is worn out, that can also lead to clutch problem, clutch slippage problem. And the other problem is if you are if you have installed new friction disc, it will gradually, it will require some time to sit properly. So if there is a clutch plate that is very new, it may take some normal start and stop for the new friction disc to sit. So this is another problem causing the friction to drop and as a result, that will lead to slippage. When clutch is slipping, this will overheat. It will burn the lining material. Power flow from the engine to the transmission is some, somehow reduced, and that will cause loss of power to the drive wheels. So these are some of the problems associated with the clutch. Now, in this video, we have looked at two common problems. Number one, fail to release. You press the pedal to the floor, and then when trying to shift, it does not shift freely. When selecting gear, it does not select freely. That is fail to release problem. The other problem that we have seen is clutch slippage. If there is a problem with the force that is clamping this friction disc onto the flywheel and the pressure plate, if somehow that force is not strong enough, that will lead to slippage problem. Clutch slippage it could be due to misadjustment or it could be due to worn out pressure, uh, friction plate, friction material, or it could be due to oil soaked friction surface. So these are the two main problems associated with clutch. Now there are also other problems. In part two of this video, we are going to have a look at other symptoms of clutch problems and remedies. That is all we have for you in this presentation. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and uh, turn on notifications so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another video. Till then, stay safe.